What's going on guys? As soon as I turn on the camera, I feel like I have hair in my mouth. Uh, so, hmm. okay, I think I got it. Little dog hair. We have a uh, Siberian Husky and hair is everywhere. Um, bowl lathering, Escali. I bought this when I first started wet shaving. Uh, several months ago at this point. Um, going with uh, Parasso and it's a, it's a mixture in this bowl actually. Um, Parasso and Cella. <laughs> so uh, yeah, a little menthol, a little eucalyptus, uh, some almond and cherry in there. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Hope your week's been good. Mine's been very busy. Um, I haven't uploaded too much shaving videos uh, due to the fact that I've just been super busy with work. Uh, a lot of life things and, uh, you know, very little time. My shaving's actually been sporadic. Right now I have, um, what's today, Friday? No, today's Thursday. I'm all screwed up. Uh, Thursday, so I shaved on Monday. So uh, Monday night to Thursday night. What is that? Three full nights. So, yeah. Have three full days worth of growth. Um, looking a little raggedy. Need a haircut. Haven't gotten one of those uh, since early January. So I mean, we're looking at a month and a half of the, this mop on my head. Um, and uh, yeah, so other than it being a very busy and hectic beginning of the year, first quarter, um, life's good. Can't complain. Um, Every day above ground is, is good, right? So yeah, there's enough lather in there probably for another pass or two. And there's enough in here for uh, my subdivision. Um, but what are we going to do? I'd rather have more than enough than not enough. Soap's cheap, especially Chella and Parasso. I think both of those combined, Chella and Parasso, probably... Um, Parasso is definitely 10 bucks. I think Chella is very similar to that, if not 10, maybe 12, but both very cheap. Oh, uh, so that's the brush, that's the soap. I'm not doing any pre-shave other than Louisiana water. Uh, this is gonna be the straight Gold Dollar 208. You've seen this before in the videos. Uh, and it's the plastic carbon fiber look-alike scales. All right, let's get this started. Smells good. Very thick and creamy lather too. Um, so what happened was I had in this bowl um, I had put a spoonful of cella in there and uh, um, basically I had a little bit I had a little bit of cella in there ready to go and I wasn't sure that it would be enough because I like to load heavy. So um, what I did was I just throw, threw some Parasso in there because I had that on the counter. Anyways, and uh, yeah, Cella and Parasso mix. It's actually, I mean, I wring out the brush a little bit. You know, I, I let it soak for 15 minutes or so in water while I'm taking a shower. Let it uh, soak in there, take it out. Basically just grab my hand around it, rinse out uh, the remaining water bring it out and um, start a lathering and I don't think we're gonna eat any more water. It's thick, it's creamy, and it's actually pretty well hydrated, so. Not a bad scent, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if the eucalyptus and menthol and cherry and almond mix. Not bad, the scent, just uh, different.
been watching a uh, couple different um, YouTube wet shavers. Chris Bailey's one of them, CBD, or I am CBD. Uh, well, I've actually just been using DEs for the past two weeks or so. Um, so let's see what we're doing here. If I could see around this blade, which I can. Spoke with uh, the stallion, Anthony Esposito, and uh, basically asked him if I could send him some blades. I have a couple other blades, gold dollars. Um, That one I bought, they, I don't know if the bevel's not sitting on it, I don't know what's going on with it. I mean, I have a Norton 8K, Norton 4 8K, the uh, little multi, and uh, along with um, a diamond plate and the Nanawa 12K stone, but I'm not that efficient at honing. Um, I'm able to touch this one up whenever it needs to be with my 12K Nanawa um, because I sent this one to Dr. Matt, uh, 357. And he was able to correct any issues that it had. Um, but yeah, the, the other two I, I plan on sending out to, uh, not that Dr. Mac did a, a bad job. I just want to try a different, uh, a different edge. Let's see, I messaged, uh, Anthony Esposito and, uh, he uh, said, yeah. Send them on out. So, I'll probably get those out to them if not tomorrow, early next week. Just. It just depends on the, on the schedule at work. And you know, I've never used anything other than a uh, synthetic stone, I think. I think I think Dr. Matt used a synthetic on this. So I've never actually used a, uh, a natural stone on my face. And um, from what I've been told and read and... Uh, basically seen others talk about on their videos is uh, natural stones are much more comfortable so really only one way to find out and that is to without purchasing one and that's to get it sent off by someone that has one and that knows what they're doing and I think I uh, I think Anthony is he falls in that realm on both accounts so um, not a bunch of slickness left after, but, I mean, you're talking about, I mean, uh, Chella is a tallow-based soap, but, I mean, it's also, like I said, between 10 and 12 bucks, I think, so. I don't expect great things out of it, although it's... Working just fine, to be honest. I'm actually going to, for this next pass, put my glasses on. I 
I feel like I can't read worth a shit when I don't have my glasses on. I mean, I can't see letters whatsoever. Too blurry. I have astigmatism. I'm not farsighted, nearsighted. I just have astigmatism. Nothing there for three more passes. Like I said, another two passes in the bowl. So more than enough lather. And the lather's not dissipating. I mean, it's actually thick and good. Um, what was I saying? Oh, my glasses. But I can, I can straight razor shave without any cuts, nicks, anything. I mean, no bleeding or anything at this point yet. And uh, I don't know. I can kind of see perfectly fine when I'm shaving. And I think it has to do with like there's a lot of risk. <laughs> Not risk, but I mean, you know, there, there's a little bit of endangerment um, when shaving. Cutting next to arteries and everything else. One spot I definitely have trouble with uh, <clears throat> when straight razor shaving, and you can see there's still a little bit of hair picking up there, um, is my chin area, like this area right here. I don't know. I just, I don't have the hang of, of going around and, and especially when going down, like just curving it right. I, I just, I'm not good at that yet. All in all, I think I'm at 28. 28 or 29 straight razor shaves. Um, so, there's that. Oh, this is where I was going with that. So instead of going down or down uh, or down or up on my chin, I'll just kind of like go across. My hair on my chin grows this way anyways, so. Hmm. I have a little ingrown hair right there. Didn't even notice it. All right. I think for this next pass, I will use a DE. And here's why. I think when I home this last on the um, 
I'm a Naniwa, 12K. Japanese synthetic stone. I think I was trying to do a rolling stroke. <laughs> and uh, my first time doing that, I don't think that edge is going to be too nice when I'm going against the grain. So I'm going to pull out the DE. Again, I'm not really like cut up terribly or anything. So gotta get the remaining of this lather in here. Not really cut up bad or anything, uh, but going against the grain, I definitely don't want to get cut up badly. So, I'll stop while I'm ahead. Pull out the DE, no shame in that. Yeah, I'm sure there's guys that would just power through it. Um, same thing with soaps. So, <clears throat> buddy of mine, I uh, got into wet shaving. I mean, he's nowhere near the the nowhere near the uh, craziness as I am with a whole bunch of different soaps and whatnot. But he did buy. Mm, I won't say the brand because it really doesn't matter because it's just really his skin, honestly, that it doesn't agree with. But he bought a soap that he says when he puts it on, burns for a little bit. And this particular soap has lanolin. It has a lot of fragrance in it. My nose is itching on the outside here. Um, and so I'm like, yeah, stop using it. Like, I'll give you some, some like soaps to use. He's, you know, he's one of those guys that don't like to waste money, which I completely understand. But if it's affecting your face and you're not enjoying it, what, like, why? So, um, I, uh, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Some people would power through, you know, doing something that they're not getting enjoyment out of just for the sake of doing it. Not me. If I'm pretty certain I'm going to have a bad shave or a bad anything because of something I'm doing, I'm not going to do that thing. So I'll go tomorrow and uh, get a haircut. I'm going to do some touch-ups real quick. I'm getting a little stinging uh, on the cheeks. And I was feeling that during the second pass. That's why I said I don't want to continue. Because um, it's just going to get more irritated if I keep dragging the... Uh, the straight that's probably not um, probably not as sharp as it needs to be since I was doing something that uh, I'm just learning to do and which is the the rolling stroke and uh, anyways no. so enough in there for I don't know another pass for sure and enough in the bowl probably for another pass so not as much as I thought I had. Not, not as much overkill as I thought I had. I have right here, uh, I have hairs that grow up this way, so I have to go that way. And right here, the exact opposite hairs go this way, so I've got it. So it's like, I have little swirls there when I let the beard grow. I, I have like a little swirl right there. Same thing over here. Same thing on the top of my head, like up here. I have like a little swirl. I think when I was little, I used to get uh, cow licks, or what we would call cow licks, like a cow licked you on the top of the head, and, uh, you know, your hair would kind of stick up, kind of like alfalfa, without gel or anything, like, you'd wake up, you'd wash your hair, and it wouldn't matter if you put gel in it to hold it down or anything else, it would just, boink, 
so uh yeah so all in all that's so honestly the cella and parasso mix hey it's a winner in my book again I'm with the escali brush I bought that on Amazon it's a it's a true badger um you know it's obviously not going to be the the grade A badgers that you can get for, you know, 150, 200, 300 bucks, whatever. Although, you know, I bet they have, I think Maggards and, and those guys have uh, some good badgers for 50, 60 bucks. But anyways, that, I think that was like 19.99 on Amazon two or three years ago. Chella Parasso. That was what I used for the soap. I'm going to throw on some Thayer's now. This is Thayer's uh, Lavender. You can see I'm getting pretty low. It's at the bottom there. Um, so I'll have to order some more. I think they have lemon and uh, cucumber. Well, I know that they have cucumber. I see uh, Chris Bailey using cucumber um, a lot. So I'll probably buy a cucumber, buy a lemon. I use that pretty frequently. Almost after every shave. Sometimes... Um, I'll skip it if I'm putting, say, um, like this Nivea, uh, Nivea Men post shave bomb. It's upside down. I've got it dripping to the but that um, it's almost empty, so I keep it upside down. Um, for the aftershave, so like uh, I'm not gonna pull the camera, but like right here, down here, like these are the aftershaves that I have just sitting here at the moment. Uh, Stetson, we have Florida water here. This is Aqua Velva Ice Blue. Yeah, Ice Blue. Um, I have Katie's Bubbles, Bergen, Barnegat Bay. Uh, a sample from Sterling, which is Frankincense and Myrrh. And what's this one? Dunshire from Sterling as well, a sample. Um, I used this the last time I shaved. So I'll hold off on the Stetson. Nah. This actually, I'll talk about this next video. Um, this has a, I mean, I guess it's considered a chemical in it that uh, is known to be cancerous now. I mean, you can go down the road of like everything. If you dive deep into it, it's probably cancerous. But anyways, um, and uh, let's use, uh, let's call some sterling frankincense and myrrh. The sample's almost done. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little under half. I get like, I bought these around Christmas time and I bought uh, two of the sample packs from them. Um, I think I showed, I think I had a video on those, but maybe, maybe I didn't do one. But uh, Frankincense and Myrrh, one of my favorite scents of those uh, that I purchased, which is why I still have some. Um, I always forget to shake up your, like the Aqua Bubble Blue, like typically that's just alcohol, like the main ingredient is alcohol and, uh, Glycerin, water, fragrance, and menthol, like, and then some color, colorants. But, like, with this stuff, and with Katie's Bubbles, and, like, any of your higher, not higher end, I mean, I guess they t technically are higher end, but any of your, um, I guess not dollar store or, uh, convenience store purchased aftershaves, artisan aftershaves, I guess is what you call them. Shake those up well. Just to mix the ingredients. Ah, I do like that smell. It's a really good smell. Alright guys, that was a shave. Rambled a little bit too much in that one, but it is what it is. If you've made it this long, holy cow, go ahead and comment down below because that's incredible. If you listen to me talk for, what are we at? The camera's tilted, so it's 24 minutes, 34 seconds. I don't know how long it actually is in here, like if I edit it any. But right now it's 24 minutes, 40 seconds. If you listen to me talk for that long, even if you listen to me talk for 15 minutes and you're still here, good on you. I'll see you guys later.